Game of Thrones fans may be committed to memorizing every pivotal show scene, absorbing all of George R. R. Martin's book details, and reading endless theories online. But there's one thing about the show we might never get to experience the original pilot. Thanks to the cast shakeups that occurred after the first version of this world building premiere filmed in 2008, we already knew that this unaired pilot existed somewhere, collecting dust and largely regarded with disdain by its creators. The series started out with Tamsin Merchant in the role of Daenerys Targaryen, Jennifer L as Catelyn Stark, and Jamie Campbell Bower as Night's Watchman Waymar Royce. But it wasn't the acting that the showrunners took issue with. There were also some points of plot confusion that rendered the first take a failure, like the fact that it wasn't clear Jamie and Cersei Lannister were siblings. Weiss said of the first production, Watching screenwriter Craig Mazin and others watch that original pilot was one of the most painful experiences of my life. Benioff agreed, adding, I was taken notes and I had this yellow legal pad and I just remembered writing in all caps MASSIVE PROBLEM and it's all I could think about the rest of the night. As a result, they decided to shelve almost all of the footage and reshoot the opening episode, which turned out to be a major success and courted millions of fans right away. The unseen footage, it seems, might never see the light of day. Kit Harrington, who of course portrays Jon Snow, our resident king in the north, has also recently weighed in on the abandoned premiere effort, telling The Guardian they made a lot of mistakes. It didn't look right, didn't feel right, had nothing different about it. Like the rest of us, he's never seen it in full, but indicated his 2008 Jon Snow was clean-shaven, with his long locks being a simple wig. Nevertheless, the network didn't give up after one poor pass. HBO decided to pick up the series despite um, all the problems with the pilot, we got a chance to go back and rewrite it. When the team reassembled for a second try at the show, they leaned more heavily into the adult content of the series, making it dirtier, sexier, bloodier, and more tangibly real. Suddenly, a story that came off as hokey on the first try became arresting to watch on screen. None of this was instantly alarming to Harrington, who had the good fortune of landing Jon Snow as his first on-screen role. He said, We didn't know if it was going to go, and we didn't know if it was going to be any good. But it was HBO, and it was American TV, so it felt like a huge deal. Even though he wasn't part of the original screening gone so wrong, he has seen bits and pieces of the original take, because Weiss and Benioff have used it before as blackmail material sending him unflattering screenshots from the episode and threatening the release of the amateurish first work to keep him in line. He said, They say if I ever piss them off too much, they'll release it on YouTube. Every now and then, they send me a screen grab, just as a threat. Given its rocky start, Game of Thrones feels more and more like a miracle to have achieved such a large-scale and dedicated audience investment. But the idea that there exists an episode of the show from the same creative team that misses the mark is also a pretty tantalizing notion. Perhaps when the series is finally over, we'll finally get a chance to see what a cornier, less accomplished adaptation of the fantasy sensation would have looked like, and we can all cringe right along with the show's creators at long last. Until then, we're much like Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.